Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are starting a short series on meshing in ComSol Multiphysics. Meshing is an important part of ComSol Multiphysics simulations. Not only ComSol Multiphysics, for any CFD simulation software, meshing is an important part and you can say this is the heart of the story. If you have appropriate mesh, then you lead to actual result. Otherwise, your results may be false. If you work with ComSol or any CFD simulation software, obviously you may lead to some colorful results, but that might not be correct. You should verify your all the steps. So meshing is one of the steps. Today we are going to start meshing. So this particular video is only for the beginners and the upcoming videos will be advanced level and people who are working with different research related problems so this series will be helpful i'm not taking any physics as of now because i will work with only mesh so initially let us take a rectangle say of one and two width anything you can take randomly i'm taking so this one now if i go to mesh initially if i right click on it let me just look at just hover through and look at what are the options available and I will just briefly tell about all the options. Today I am not going to show you all the things but let us just brief it. So the free triangular, so this is a kind of mesh which is a kind of unstructured mesh. In CFD you have studied about it. So this free triangular meshes are generally used for irregular geometry. This free quad meshes can be used for regular geometry like this one is a regular geometry so we can use I'll show you it, uh, this particular thing today. Mapped is a thing which is required for a particular purpose. We'll make an, a, a video separately on this. Boundary layers from the name itself you can understand. Suppose you have a flow and at the boundary layer you are trying to look at what is happening. So the boundary layer is very basically a very thin zone. So you may need a, I mean, information across a very thin zone, and in the, that case, your meshing at that particular zone should be fine enough. So boundary layer does the same thing. If you choose it on the boundaries, it will refine your mesh. Today I'll show you this particular thing. Then more options are given. Edge copy edge copy refine from the name itself you can understand few things we'll be talking about all this in detail size again from the name itself you can understand you can define you can actually customize the size of your mesh you can make it smaller bigger and the other meshing parameters also you can manually change distribution again from the name itself you can define your distribution so you need to choose the corners or the sides and you can have a distribution, user defined distribution of the meshes. So today, uh, yeah, this is corner refinement again from the name, it's very clear. So today I'll be showing you this free quad mesh. So take it and if I just randomly click on build all. So it will create meshes. So this is quad mesh. That means quadrilateral. So the squares or your rectangles kind of mesh. So this is, I mean, very useful if you have a if you have a regular geometry like this square or you have a rectangle. So you can refine this. If you go to size, you can see there are options calibrate for general physics you have fluid dynamics so if you just click on it build all objects so I mean there are algorithms written in the background code of ComSol so when you see the we are not doing anything when we are choosing general physics the mesh is like this it's a bigger mesh when you go for fluid dynamics it is refining so it knows actually for fluid dynamics you need fine meshes so those are the things coming from the background algorithm 
if you choose plasma let us see what happens it it is more or less equivalent to fluid dynamics if you choose semiconductor you see it is even finer so those are the available algorithms in your simulation if you are just starting then those physics control user def uh, by default options are good enough but in many cases when you are doing advanced level simulations so you need to define meshes differently at different locations of the solution geometry in those cases you need to customize your mesh so you have the option custom once you click on it you can see what are the things you can put that is the maximum element size minimum element size so that you can actually define you can define maximum element growth rate so i mean what are those things with a regular geometry i cannot define because what is maximum what is minimum i can see all the i mean small boxes are of equal size so there is no point of putting maximum or minimum so for that what i need to do is i need to get rid of this rectangle and let us choose a irregular geometry so what i can do is i can let us take from here itself if i right click on it and let us take one ellipse say put randomly semi axis say this one is 1.5 and this is one so if i click here yeah this is the ellipse chosen now i go to mesh i delete this free quad for the time being and let us take the free quad and let's see what happens so now you can see it is an irregular geometry so what is happening you can see at this zones the meshes are bigger but here the meshes are smaller otherwise you cannot fit it in this kind of elliptical shape and that is why if you have a kind of irregular shape then you have the requirement of having a distribution of size so this is called the distribution of size you can see here it is bigger and this portion it is finer now let us get rid of this free quad let us choose right click on it and free triangular meshes which are generally used and preferred for free dynamic simulations or any simulation so you can see it is i mean for this particular geometry this is very finely set now how you understand whether it is finely set or not for that also you have an option if you right click on mesh there is an option plot you click on the plot and you can see if it is greener that means your mesh is good and it is suitable for the console simulation if it is not then it you will get a kind of red sign so let us check again suppose instead of this when i was having the quad mesh let us take it again and i click on build all object now once again let us plot it so i click on plot now if you see there are certain zones where you can see a slight reddish zone i am just zooming into this if you look at this zones this is a little bit kind of yellowish or reddish but it was not there when i have chosen the triangular meshes so for this geometry which one is better your triangular mesh is better so today uh, i have talked about triangular meshes quad meshes size of meshes user defined and physics control meshes i'll talk more about it today i'm stopping here in the next video slowly we'll be getting into different complexities so that it helps you in your advanced level modeling meanwhile i request you to subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you